Welcome. I want to show you how we can use the Raspberry Pi and a GERTBOT together to control one of these, a DC brushed motor. First we're going to plug the GERTBOT on top of the Raspberry Pi which has to be switched off and then we apply power to the Raspberry Pi. While the Raspberry Pi boots, I'm going to connect up the wires of the power supply and the motor to the GERTBOT. All this can be found in the GERTBOT manual which specifies where all the wires go. I have to connect four wires, two of the power supply, the ground of the power supply and the power. And also two of the motor wires. one and number two. Now the motor is connected, we're going to log in and start the GUI. The GUI is running under X Windows, so we start the X Windows system. And in order to get the GUI, we're going to take a browser. We're going to go to the GERTBOT website, www.gertbot.com, and we go to the download page where we can download the software. There's quite a lot of software here. What we're going to download is the GERTBOT debug GUI executable. Left click, sorry, right click, save link, save. It has now downloaded the software. I can show you that. I'm going to take a standard X terminal window and I'm going to type ls-lrt. That shows you the latest file at the bottom. So this is the archive. We have to unpack the archive for using tar minus xzf archive name. And if I do again ls-lrt, we see that there's now an executable called gertbot, which we're going to run typing dot slash gertbot. There's our GUI and the first thing to do is press the connect button and start scanning for connected boards and it's found one board in position zero. I don't need the log window anymore so I'm going to close that. So this is board zero and I have connected the motor to output number zero so I have to set this output to DC brushed. And our motor is running. Stop run in the opposite direction. I can change the duty cycle to make it run slower. So in the time span of about three minutes using the GERTBOT you can have your motors running.